uh, you know, uh, powerful dynasty, and they controlled most of the most parts of the China. Um, today's China, and they were also controlling Koreas at that time. They were controlling many parts of East Asia and Southeast Asia. So um, for over the period of time, they were controlling things in China and they were very, very dominant. They were very powerful. So uh, just you can, uh, you can uh, imagine the, the power of this dynasty that uh, uh, this under this dynasty, they built uh, you know Great Wall of China, which is 13,000 kilometers long. So this is the power which China had in the past. So even today, China is very powerful. As I told you before, that China is coming up with many, many initiatives. They are coming with uh, coming up with pipelines, as you can see in the red lines. They are coming up with the land corridors, like for example, the one China uh, Pakistan Economic Corridor and China Mongolia Russia Corridor. Then you got Silk Road uh, Economic Belt, which is connecting not only China but also rest of the world, uh, European countries and Central Asian powers and uh, many, many other countries. So Chinese are also coming up with maritime Silk Road, which is um, protecting the Chinese maritime interest, not only in South China Sea, Strait of Malacca, or um, Indian Ocean, wider Indian Ocean region, or in the uh, other parts of the world. So this is how China is connecting themselves with their new Silk Road initiative. And their, their, their economy is now being connected with most of the countries around the globe. So, Chinese are very, very dominant in the world right now, and they're connecting almost whole world with them. The second most important country, historically speaking, um, is the Japanese, Japanese Imperial Japanese, you can say Imperial Japan. They were also very power, a powerful uh, empire, and they were very, very strong uh, country in the First World War, and uh, they asserted their influence in this area. So Japanese defeated the Qing Dynasty, and first uh, Sino-Japanese war in, in which the Japanese, uh, they not, not only annexed Korea, but also Taiwan from China. So uh, in the World War II, Japan launched an invasion of mainland China in the second Sino-Japanese war in which they killed and captured many, many people. Uh, Japanese were very aggressive in the second world war and, uh, um, and they also annexed Manchuria. And they committed atrocities like they established a unit, a secret unit, um, unit 731, and um, they also carried out Nanjing massacre. Now, what was the purpose of units um, um, 731? The, this, the, the purpose of this unit was to, um, um, to promote or um, to practice biological warfare. And it was a secret unit and uh, in which they killed more than 500,000 people um, in their testing. For example, they, they developed biological weapons and they tested those weapons on the Koreans and the Chinese. And because of that, according to many human rights um, organizations, more than 500,000 people were killed in that. So that was, uh, you know, uh, brutal by the Japanese. And Nanjing massacre in which uh, Chinese, uh, you know, uh, Nanjing is in China. And uh, when Japanese uh, captured that area for one week, they killed and, uh, you know, raped thousands and, uh, you know, more than 200,000 women in China. And uh, that also had a very bitter memories in the Chinese. So Chinese, uh, you know, they never forgotten this and uh, still they uh, are aware of it. So um, what happened with Japan, uh, Japanese in the World War II? That America used uh, nuclear weapon on them. And uh, because of that, the expansion of Japan stopped. Otherwise, they wanted to expand and they wanted to capture Southeast Asia. They wanted to capture all areas in East Asia as well. So America dropped Fat Man and Little Boy, these two nuclear bombs on uh, Japanese. Japanese cities of uh, Nagasaki and Hiroshima. And if you look at this map, you will understand that this was uh, the uh, you know Japanese cities before attack, and this was after the attack. Totally, uh, America, you know, their nuclear weapons wiped out these, these uh, two cities. And in 1945, America dropped a 9,000 pound uranium-235 bomb, which was known as Little Boy, and this bomb was dropped on the city of Hiroshima, which instantly killed 80,000 people and thousands of people were killed 
after that, in the aftermath 